Hello, darlings. Happy Friday to every single one of you buggers out there. Welcome to another Design Me Devon. Today, we are going to be cracking on with a renovation of one of your guys' builds, as per usual. I will go over and introduce you to the build in a minute and a little story behind it and whatnot. Obviously, today was supposed to be the speed build day, but as I said yesterday, um, it's not finished. It's going to be coming on Monday. So you're going to have to wait, I'm afraid. I'm very, very sorry. But this is, as I said, this is kind of like a speed build anyway, because it's sped up and it's a build. That's the science behind that. So I'm not going to waffle on about any more shit and embarrass myself further. So let's crack on over and we'll see what we're going to be renovating today. So here we are, my darlings. We are at Poor Punker Bluestone. This was done by Super Kakoi. Am I saying that right? Super Kakoi. Thank you so much for this build. It's gorgeous. Obviously, if you guys are unsure, I'm, I think I'm sure. Poor Punk. I should have checked before I said this, but Poor Punker is in Australia somewhere. Am I thinking that right? I, I'm sure it is. And if not, I've based the story of it being in Australia anyway. So we're just going to go and have going to have to go along with that, to be honest. But thank you so much, uh, Super Kakoi, for this build. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I love the story behind it as well. <clears throat> Merv and Barbara loves it. Are wanting to retire in the Victorian Alpine region, Poor Punker, which I'm, that's why I was like, yeah, that's in Australia. They want a quiet life in the country, but they dreamed of purchasing a fixer-upper before retiring. They came across a blue stone posted by a mysterious hermit named Quick Buck for a thousand simoleons. It was mentioned the place is falling apart, so a budget of 30,000 simoleons, including items sold and towed away, should suffice. Merv and Barbara are looking forward to seeing how Design Me Devon can pay homage to this 1800s cottage farm. So cute, loves it, really, really, really cute. I think what we'll do now is go over and have a little look at the actual build in question. So here we are, my darlings. We are at the build. This build is so well done. Your landscaping skills, your terrain painting skills. Are you an artist or something? You've, I don't know, I'm just getting a vibe from it. It's just perfect. Everything about this is perfect. Look at these little like stone details here. These are like the steam grates, I think, from the pool. I'm sure they are, but oh, that is so cool. So clever and really creative to like put it just by the like doors. Absolutely love it. So we've got this. We've got this 1800s um, stone cottage that we're going to be renovating today. I am not going to touch this landscaping. Not one bit. I love this landscaping. I'm keeping it as it is. I want this place to still be rustic, I think. Um, I've had a little nose on the inside and we'll go over that in just a second. I think we'll keep this as a specific growing area out here as well. Maybe keeping this um, like overhang thing. Is, uh, what's this underneath of here? Are they all individual? Oh my God. Bloody hell, this must have took you so long. The detail in this is astounding and I'm for it. But yeah, I think I'll keep this as a kind of like vegetable patch. And I might like deck up this area. It's got like a little trailer out the back as well. A little caravan with a little fire pit. That's so cute. So, so cute. So what I might may do is have this area as like a patio. I definitely want to get a pool. I think having a pool out here would make sense. It being in Australia, you would want somewhere to cool down and whatnot. Um, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put a pool out here somewhere, I think. Maybe around here or something. I don't know. Unsure as of yet, but I think it's gorgeous. Let's go into the interior, shall we? So it's all on the same level, all on the same floor. I love these beams going across here. I may, I think I'm gonna go for a bit more of a lighter aesthetic in here. I want to try and get like a Scandinavian farmhouse kind of vibe on the inside, I think. So I may... I'll keep the flagstone floor, but I may neaten them up and put some like better tiles down. These are gorgeous, but like the ones that don't look broken. Um, keep all of the walls as well. I definitely want to do that. And I think what I'll do is put like a nice, I do want to add a little bit of modern into this and maybe just put a nice big glass door here. So that floods that whole room with light. I'm thinking about keeping this predominantly open plan as well. 
Um, I'm unsure at what we're going to do with the layout just yet. Um... I mean, we could have... I'm going to make it a two-bedroom. I think a two-bedroom would be perfect. I could do a bedroom here, maybe, and then a, a bedroom somewhere else. I don't know just yet. Don't know just yet. But look at this detail. Like, look how beautiful is it? Like, even a cobweb in the fireplace. And just where you've placed everything, I can see that you're meticulous with how you do things. Um, And I'm for it. Look at all the little mouse holes everywhere as well. Absolutely lovely. Um, were those meadows I saw there? Maybe we'll keep the meadows then. Maybe the meadows like mean something. So we'll keep hold of them. I'll try and keep hold of a few things. Maybe this table as well. That would be a lovely table for the indoors actually. Um, look at this. Just look. Just look at the... It just feels so real. That's the thing I get from this place. I could ju It just feels so realistic. And I'm all for realism in builds. Like this is gorgeously done. Gorgeously, gorgeously done. So, guys, don't forget to go and download this off the gallery. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. And I cannot wait to renovate it. So, without further ado, let's flop on over into the speed build format and we'll renovate this place, shall we? Anyway, here we are, my darlings. Um, we are renovating. We are renovating. This was such a fun build to renovate. I made sure to keep it looking very similar to how it looks now on the exterior. On the interiors, things do change around slightly. Um, but I still went for I went for a lighter kind of Scandinavian aesthetic on the inside, but a Scandinavian kind of farmhouse aesthetic. I tried to mix a bit of farmhouse in there, but with modern it was just it was a fusion. A fusion of things, you could say. And it looked lovely. It in my eyes, it looked lovely at the end of it. So you I think you guys will really enjoy it think you really really will um you're probably noticing that um my audio is the same <laughs> main reasons there my loves is i just just did not have time to do my audio my new audio setup today i think i'm gonna do it over the weekend and then it will give me a couple of dice dice couple of days to make sure that everything's right before it, now this is my job i just need to be very careful of how i'm timing things Especially with recordings as well. I'm finding I'm... This is going to be all like tech talk, so it may be a bit boring. But the way I'm exporting videos at the minute to make them slightly high quality, um, it proves that I'm struggling to get for like the six o'clock upload. And I've always said to you guys anyway, I will be uploading between 6 and 8 p.m. GMT. So I've got those two hours. But lately it's been pushed up that way. And it's because I record, I edit, and I upload on the same day. Every single video that I do, minus speed builds, I record, edit, and upload on the same day. I need to find a better system. I need to find a day where I can like record a couple of videos, apart from the Let's Build the World series, because I love being in real time with you guys. But those videos don't take me the longest to edit anyway. Um, so I'm going to have to try and find a day where I can maybe just do re record two or three videos and then I've got those days to just edit and concentrate on the edit. I'm going to trial that next week and see how it works out for me. But I'm learning on the job here, loves, you know, like this is a brand new career change for me. It was always a hobby, nothing else. Um, but now I really want to just, I'm going to trial it. I'm going to trial and see how that would work. But I like testing new things out, you know, um, seeing how things would work. So, yeah, I just wanted to say that. Just wanted to say that. Um, so yeah, audio will be better on Monday. Anyway, look at us. We've made sure, I made sure to keep it looking exactly the same as the outside. Obviously, we put a new front door in. I did want this lovely, like, farmhousey looking door at the front. <clears throat> but I did want it to be in a crisp white because the windows were already in a white. And I, I opened this space out here, had like a nice open plan, um, kitchen, living and dining area. They're all separated off quite nicely with half walls and shelves and stuff, which you'll see in a sec. And those beams, I kept all of the original beams as well, but I did go for a lighter aesthetic. So I painted them all white and it just helps it not looking too cramped in here. If you know what I mean, when it's a darker wood and you've got all of these beams and stuff in The Sims 4, it just looks a bit cramped. I think as soon as you change the color of it, like I've just done then, it kind of opened out that space a little bit better. Um, and I'm for that. I really am. Look at me. I'm so pale again. I'm not enjoying the green. I love having a green screen, but I'm not enjoying the studio lights blasting my face off just so I don't get glitching. 
thanks you thank you to you guys who mentioned about this like static as well and let me know it's just a reflection um very annoying very annoying i'm gonna be getting a new chair anyway so it won't have these stupid racing bloody awful crappy shitty holes going through them i was a bit dramatic then wasn't i but i just can't bear this chair i hate it absolutely hate this chair I don't understand gaming chairs in the slightest. I wanted one because I just thought, oh, they look quite cool, actually. Now, awful. <laughs> awful. Anyway, so look at us. Half walls are going in, trying to work out a bit of spatial awareness and stuff going on. Um, I think what I end up doing is putting in what we're doing here. This is going to be a bathroom behind there. And then I put a utility room on the other side, which you can enter in through the kitchen and stuff. And... Yes, I just like the layout of this place as well. Really easily laid out. Really easily laid out. Knocked that wall down to that room there. And that ends up being the living area then. So it's a nice space there for a living area. Kitchen going off into this side here. And um, yeah, I like it. And you can see what I did with the flooring as well. Used the same um, tiles, but they've got like a, a less damaged version or a less worn version. Um, and I'm, I use them. We could just pretend that they polished them up or something. Or maybe just um, completely bought new ones, you know? You know. <laughs> Sorry, this video is probably a little bit late, but it's for the reasons as well that I've just mentioned. It just, yeah, those reasons. So this is one of the spare, this is the spare bedroom. It's nice putting the wallpapers on as well because you find out the stains and the cracks and stuff that you've missed. <laughs> And I still was going around at the end, like picking little cracks here and there, trying to get them out. Um, and it worked. It really, really worked. But yeah, I, I like the feel of it in here. It's really nice. I do like the feel of it. I wish that um, I put a bit... I've, I think I felt like I didn't do much with this build. And the main reasons being is that the landscaping was already done for me. <laughs> the landscaping takes me bloody ages because I'm a fussy bastard. But the landscaping here was completely done. And I was for it. Really was. Absolutely stunning landscaping. Really bloody was. So yeah, this is the toilet in here. No, this is the utility room in here, which is off from the toilet. And the toilet, you enter through the door in the living room. Um, There's two toilets in here as well. There's one, there's like an ensuite of the master suite as well. So it's a nice size space. It really, really is. not For a small like, cottage, it's, it is a nice size space. And I'm very much for it. This is me like getting rid of all of the terrain paint. And I was like, no, I don't want to get rid of the terrain paint. And it's so well done. But I had to. I had to. Do oh, excuse me. Sadly, to do what I wanted to do, I needed to get rid of the terrain painting, which was sad. Um, Now, I was like, should I put a platform here? I'm keeping everything in. And I was like, no, we'll do a platform here. So I lift up like a bit of decking area here where I put a lovely um pergola and a dining table and everything up there again i was thinking about where this is is in australia i'm unsure if this region gets as hot as the other regions in um australia but just to be safe i made sure that they would be sheltered under the sun and stuff you know with the pergola with the pool as well we end up putting the pool up on this area too um but obviously i derped out and left the platform a bit too big in the beginning I just don't understand why they couldn't have allowed pools to go onto platforms. It's very annoying. It really is. Don't understand it. But yeah, it really, really works. It, it looks lovely afterwards. I really, really like it. How are you all? Are you okay? I hope you're okay. I hope you're safe. I hope you're trying to thrive. None of us can thrive at the minute, really. We really, really can't. The world is a pretty shitty, messed up place at the minute, isn't it? So, um, yeah. I can vouch and say that I will be here for all of you. I will be here for all of you to take your mind off the shit and just have a laugh. A bit of normality. A bit. I, I like that a lot of you have said like it's, you feel like it's me just talking to you. I, I'm glad because that's exactly what I want my YouTube channel to be. I don't want to ever be like a professional YouTube commentator. That's not me. That's not me. I would cringe my fucking face off. I tried that in the beginning of this like YouTube thing and listening back to this. Oh, God, cringe. Um, so I will, you will only ever get me on these videos. And I'm real, I promise. 
I promise you. But yeah, what I did with here, so I keep up itchy nose once again on recordings because I'm probably, someone said it's because I'm spitting on my mic. How very dare you? I do not spit. I swallow. No, <laughs> shut up, Peyton. Can you imagine, like, I'm going to have to try and do one day a PG stream or something on Twitch. Can you imagine? Can you imagine me trying to be PG? I mean, we we saw what that was like years ago and it was bloody awful to try and do it again. <laughs> no, I couldn't. No, not happening. Anyway, <laughs> so this little like over like hang this. Um, I forgot what that object's from. Is it Island Living or is it Jungle Adventure? I think it's Jungle Adventure. It's almost like a lean to really. Um, I use this as a uh, like little pot in station. And I put, I think, what else do I put in there? A pot in station and I can't remember. I can't remember what we put in there. And I'm using these little, I've been obsessed with these stepping stones lately. I, I, I've always known that they were there, but I've just never got around to using them properly. And I've been using them everywhere, loves. Everywhere. That looks a bit weird what I'm doing there at the minute, but I do manage to sort it out and I get rid of that one. There we go. It's done it. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Um, <clears throat> And I put loads of things down to plant as well. So... Your sims will, as soon as this down into the lot, they it will be there for you guys to plant. Unsure if I'm going to make the sim plant them or not. I probably won't. <laughs> I probably won't. <laughs> but um, they will be there for you guys to enjoy if you if you wish. If you wish. And I mix it up. Probably best to put it down. I, I think this is going to be in the summer. So I tried to remember what actually grows in the summer in the sims 4. And I have no bloody idea. I wish they would say in the actual little like bio about whatever it is i wish they would say what season it grows in because it doesn't um it's very annoying very annoying indeed <clears throat> um but yeah this is almost like a little gardener like lean to really and i as i said i end up putting the potting station in there and i'm trying to remember what i put on the other side i can't for the life of me i'm wondering if we do anything now maybe we don't maybe i'll just keep it like that i wouldn't imagine it no maybe Maybe it was just the bush. Could have been a bush. Kept those like fish on the mounts as well because they came with the house. I thought that would be pretty cool to put somewhere. So ignore them there for the minute. We end up putting them in the little boot room area at the front of the build, like the main porch. I end up putting them in there and I just think they're, they're quite a, a cute little kitschy thing that was in this house before, you know, that they kept hold of and... Yeah, kind of like that. So this little patio area out here, I actually make this an area where they can come and grow their veg and stuff too. Um, it being, as it said in that description, it's like a farmhouse or a farm cottage. Um, I end up putting uh, vertical planters and some floor planters as well. Just so you can see that from the outside or oh, the inside of the build. I, I really wanted that to come through. But yeah, anyway, look, the pool's in. So nice size pool, nice like plunge pool. Do a few little laps in that. Up to the decking area, I used this pergola, which came with... Where did, when did that... I don't remember, but... I don't remember what pack that pergola came with. Um, Oh, it was free. It was a base game update pack, wasn't it? I'm going to say yes, and we're going to move on swiftly. So yeah, I plucked that one on top and it just acts as a bit of shade underneath the dining table outside. Um, it yeah, derped out, remembering that I needed to put a barbecue in here. It's very important because it's quite heavily grained in the Australian culture for them to have barbecues. So I made sure to put one in off of camera. So there is one out there. So you don't have to worry. But yeah, I don't know why. I just derped out and didn't, didn't bother putting it back in. So I've used the big tractor tire as well. Again, I thought thinking about a farmhouse. So maybe there was an old tractor tire that they found around on their land somewhere. And they decided to make a planter out of it. At the back here, because I knew the Sims won't be able to get to the two bits out the back. I actually just put in some like bushes and stuff to, and flowers just to make it look like they're growing. And then I, you can plant whatever you want at the front then as well. Stunning. I thought that was a great idea. But yeah, that's a cool thing to have this big wide glass sliding door and then have all of this like food and the bounties outside. If you know what I mean, that you can see from the inside rather than having the dining table down on this part. I was like, no, I really want this to reflect on being a farmhouse. So 
seeing that from the outside and seeing that from the inside, I think, I don't know. I thought it would be a little cool touch and I'm glad that I did do that. End up using a little, oh, that's what I put there. Well, not right there, but near enough. A little beehive. A little beehive for the bumbly bees, you know? And I'm for it. Very much am. Um, I'm so tired today. Once again, me trying to go to bed early results in me not going to bed early. Not at all. I didn't think I went to sleep last night until half past two, which is very, very naughty. But um, I ended up watching a film. And then I was like, oh, I should. I looked at the time and I was like, oh, it's nearly midnight. You should not start this now. But I did. And then I was like, I, I'm going to go to bed now. It was like half 12 and I'll finish this tomorrow. And I was too much into it. So I ended up staying up to watch it. <laughs> so I'm so tired. When will we ever learn? Like, when will we ever learn? I need to go to bed like around half 11 and then be asleep by midnight. But um, it never happens. Never bloody happens. Hopefully I'll learn from that one day. But yes. So, slowly creeping up, we're on the kind of like mark 32,000 simoleons. I think, I forgot to even say it. I think we were, I was made sure they needed some money left over because this is an elderly couple whose life savings have gone into this. So, I made sure to leave them with some money. That was always in the back of my head with this. Um, and I think I left them with about 5,000 simoleons. So, <clears throat> maybe they could retire but still sell their, like produce or stuff like that they grow here just to earn a bit of extra cash. You know, I had thoughts, my loves. Thoughts. So, into the interior. I'm going to cough. <clears throat> Excuse me. I love the way I tried to mute myself then, but didn't and ended up just coughing anyway. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I've definitely got a cough coming, which is not good. Not good at all. So, living room. As I said, I really wanted it to have this farmhouse, but Scandinavian vibe to it. So there's going to be a mixture of furniture, a mixture of woods, but I still wanted that lighter, natural, um, neutral toned, like, palette to come through with this place. And I think it worked. I think it worked. I like it. I, re I really like how the interiors came out. Um, I think it matches in quite well. Struggling to find a lamp then. I was like, for goodness sake, just use this one. It's stunning. There we go. The woods are different, but it doesn't matter. Absolutely fine. Um, and I like it. I do. You have to let me know. Let me know down below what you think of it. Uh, I loved it beforehand. Like, I really didn't want to change anything. <laughs> but I did. I had to stop changing stuff. Um, lost door, vagina, na 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 Right there. That picture that we put up on the wall. If you know, you know. Um, trying to put up some plants and stuff onto these and failing. And I end up putting some shelves up the top here as well. Um, I go for a bit more of a cleaner one. Like I had the like ornate looking ones then. It just didn't look modern enough. And then I put some books on top um, just to reflect in on the, an extended bit of bookcase, you know. <clears throat> oh my God. I'm going to need to drink water and you're going to have to watch me drink water. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But I'm just going to cough everywhere and I can't pause this because the video is running. <laughs> but um, yeah, I ended up putting that shelf up there and just extending the bookcase out across with a few more books. Obviously got rid of the fireplace but made sure to put in a wood burner. Um, again, don't know if it would get... If it's an alpine region, I would say it would probably get cold up here. So that's what we did. Now, Chuckle struggled with the kitchen. Luckily, this kitchen looks great in this house. Um... I used, I tried a few counters before I ended up placing down the kind of industrial base game ones. Uh, how fed up are you with The Sims 4 kitchens? They are so shit. They are fucking shit. I will say that. And I, there's two of them and plus, no, that three. Three of them that I like. This one here, the Snowy Escape one. And the, I, no, in fact, I don't even like the island living one because the, uh, so there's two, because the swatches are absolutely dog shite as well. Um, yeah. Two kitchens out of how many? Four. <laughs> Four. I'm being shady then. I don't know how many kitchens we've got, but not a lot. Not enough, even. <laughs> so yeah, I ended up moving the dining table. Main reasons being, 
This whole walkway coming through there goes right to the front door, out to the glass doors. And I thought it would be so nice to be able to just have that whole area clear. And it's like a, it's a wide like corridor area as well. It's like four tiles wide. So imagine you coming in through the porch and then in through the um, slidey doors and then just seeing this big open stretch of floor out the glass windows now into the greenery outside. I really wanted that. And this is me putting those me medals down, the, those special medals. I thought they needed their own little moment. So I kind of put them on this glass um, hall table. I tried to put them in the display case, but they just wouldn't fit for some reason. I don't understand what I was doing wrong, but I don't mind them there. I mean, I mean again, it's paying homage to what this house was before. Ignore what I put down there. We don't end up keeping that there. It looks awful. Um, main reasons being, in my head, I knew I wanted to put shelving where I've just put this plant um, so the plants moved now and I know I remembered the shelving I'm, and I end up having a little bit of separation off from the dining and kitchen area using that shelving and I think it works. I do. I think it works. It's quite an, quite an eclectic mix of like furnitures and stuff in here, but I like it. I do. I, I actually like it. And yes, the end. Anyway, on to the master bedroom. So the bedrooms, I wanted to go a bit darker. So I end up going for a bit more of a smokier grey kind of vibe with them, but still having lighter bits of furniture and stuff inside as well. Um, main reasons being I wanted a bit more of a relaxing vibe. Smaller windows, uh, a bit sh more shut off from the world rather than the main kind of like entertaining area because it's all open with glass windows. So I wanted these rooms to be a little bit more semi-private. Uh, so I wanted the colours to kind of match that and be a little bit more relaxing than kind of bright whites and stuff. And that is what we had here. And I like it. I do like it. You can see we're like coming, I was coming up to the end of my budget really with 15,000 smolians. It's like, Ugh. we need to watch the pennies a bit now because I do want 5,000 smolians really left over for them. Um, and we end up with that, which is cool. So the old couple will be thriving in here, my loves. They really will be. Really, really will be. But... I like this. I like how this looks, this bedroom. I do. I get a farmhouse vibe with it. And I do get that relaxing vibe because of the colours. I'm just for it very much. I was trying to use that shelf there and trying to move that around. But I think we end up getting rid of it. I think we do. Do we? I don't like it there anyway. So hopefully. Hopefully we get rid of it. <laughs> hopefully we do in a minute. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh no. It's there. It's there now. Anyway, so this is the ensuite bathroom. This is the ensuite bathroom. So I wanted a farmhouse vibe again, but I also wanted it to be semi modern. Um, so I was trying to mix uh, furniture together, a bit of a classic sink, bit of a really classic bath and whatnot. Um, but I end up going for like a shower and we end up separating the shower off using this little like bit here. I wanted to pump a little bit of green in here and I think that really helped it. It really did. Really bloody did. But it's cute. I do like this bathroom. I wish I used a bit of a different brick now I'm looking at it. Um, but I'm not mad. I'm not mad about it. How much have we got left here? We've got a minute left. Okay. But yeah, coming under budget as well. That's the best thing about it. I loved it. Coming under budget. It's always the best way. It is, especially when you've got like a couple or a storyline there where they're going to, you think mm, they're going to need some money. And that's what I did. Spare bedroom. So a bit of a guest suite. I would imagine this would be where their children come and stay, maybe uh, like grown up children or even their friends. But but yeah, so I'm going to leave you now, my loves. I hope you all have a lovely weekend. Stay safe wherever you are. Wear a bloody mask. And I will see all of you gorgeous buggers back on Monday with a speed build. And if not, come and join me on Twitch tonight as well at 7pm. Goodbye.